This is the uh, Push Mountain Fire Spot and Tower. My grandpa Vickers worked on this tower. Grandma lived with him at the time too. It was a little one room cabin that they uh, lived in down below the tower that's no longer there. You can still see the foundations I had. Heck, my grandma and my grandpa showed it to me. <laughs> that's, that's the cool thing. Uh, I don't have to guess at what these people went through to live in these places or, or in this place in particular. Uh, I grew up with the living stories themselves. And they uh, loved their time on the tower. I think Grandpa probably did the most because he could sit up in the tower and taught himself how to play guitar and several other musical instruments. Uh, I just still baffles me, Grandma, going all the way down the hill. If I were to take you down to Tassel Springs, where the spring is, it is it is rough. <laughs> it is steep. I cannot hardly picture a little old lady carrying two five-gallon buckets of water uh, twice a day uh, up from the spring. But make sure they had washing water and whatever else. I'm not quite sure it was drinking water. I don't I don't know. But uh, those those old timers. But this old fire tower, she is falling on some seriously hard times and really should be saved. So walk up here closer. It's history that's worth saving. It really is. I mean I can remember coming here back before 341 was paved when I was a little kid growing up. It was a journey to come back up in here. And somewhat of a tradition because if you went on towards 56, we'd take the old Bark Shed Road in to go to Bark Shed. Uh, that road's now closed where well, the bridge is over the Sillamore there. And uh, yeah, the, you just get in the other way now. But uh, this is part of our history here. And it is a fun and interesting one to walk where my grandparents lived and trying to find the foundation. The old tree, there used to be a big tree right here. And it, uh, I take it, I haven't been up here in about two years. Uh, unusual, I just hadn't had a chance to come back up this way in a while, or come down here in a while. I went all around it just didn't stop a few times <laughs> uh, but the old tree here it finally fell down this used to be all nice and clear lush grass and had uh, grandma's Easter lilies would uh, bloom um, you know, part of it right there that's part of the old foundation uh, grandpa showed me this actually so that's that's how I know where those are at. He said that was one corner, and you can see another piece of it here that goes in over here. Uh, that old tree has, I believe, fallen down over the old cistern, which is pretty much covered. It's pretty much been filled in. I, I still wouldn't trust standing on it. Uh, the tower, I would definitely not climb on it. But she needs to be saved as a historical marker, and this needs to be cleaned up. And you know, this would be a great, great project for a volunteer group or somebody to do. The we need to recognize and try and save a few of these because they're they're crumbling and falling down more and more all the time. Now this has been our place to stop as a family. Uh, since before I was born um, Grandma and Grandpa both grew up over at Big Flat and uh, had kin and relatives all through here uh, there's some I believe there's still some rose property down Tassel Springs here I think uh, not sure on that one anymore but the uh, tower is still standing I do believe she was supposed to be protected and being taken care of, but 
seen little to nothing on that. And like I said, that old structure is not fit for climbing on. It's probably still good, I mean, to a point, but the wood, I wouldn't trust that wood. <laughs> That's some straight up sketchy stuff. We used to pose for pictures right over here so everybody would tie up their mules and horses and you head down these trails and uh, go down Tassel Springs Road there and there's a few places you can go to off down in there. It's uh, pretty interesting. A really cool part of my family history and one that I'm proud to share and, and show this place and hopefully this can get cleaned up and there can be you know, some bathrooms right here or something or, you know, some plaque abs, I don't know. You know, just fix it up. Do something with it. Recognize it before it's all gone. You don't want to lose all these. And this is part of our past. And I'm probably overly protective or outspoken about this tower in particular because Grandpa worked on it. He worked on several towers, um, not just the Push Mountain Tower. Uh, the one over at Cleveland Knob, or the one that had was over at Cleveland Knob, uh, he worked on that one too, and I think Green Mountain and Sugarloaf, and uh, good Lord, I think there's another Matney. <laughs> so, so Grandpa had made his rounds on the towers, but uh, he uh, taught himself how to play guitar and write music and everything right up there in that cab chassis operating a ham radio, working out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, this was out in the woods even for them. So, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. And we well, sure missed that big old tree. But she'd been dead for a long time. It's left a big gap. So, it'd be nice to see this cleaned up, preserved, recognized. These were, these were... These were pioneer folks from the pioneers that came here. And their contributions, I really, really don't think are really appreciated as much as they should be. And a lot of it's being left to just crumble and fall down and the history be erased. And we can't stop change. Change is inevitable. People have discovered the Ozarks once again, not the first time in history. And, uh, while this land rush is happening, let's just try to recognize and remember that, you know, there's still a lot of us here that this is this is our this is our homeland. So these are where our families used to live and we've got kin buried out here in the woods that we probably don't even know about. But if we could at least save some of the history and have it recognized, then the contributions of our forefathers and ancestors that that lived and worked and died and, and from where we came from, then at least have something like that in a memorial to them. It'd be pretty awesome.